pay me, pay me, pay me my silver now. Pay me or go to jail. Pay me my silver. Good morning, now. good morning, Big Square Roadroad.com. Good morning, Corn of Z's, your sip of Chaga coffee. Um, last chance to get might be last chance. As soon as silver hits 30 bucks, it's gonna be a last chance to get your silver Ruta coin. Silver is coming. Silver Dagger's ready. I am discussing silver with Jenny Moonstone today. I will be posting on the private road um, for all you people into the woo-woo. Woo-woo. But speaking of woo-woo, the banks are failing as we speak. Fed alert. Overnight reverse repo, remember? <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't been tracking repos for about a year and a half, two years now. Why did I stop it? It was, it was startling how much money they were plugging into the repo market. But the reason I stopped it is because they were lying. They weren't telling the full truth. They are printing infinity money behind the scenes. So it was just a lot of work for nothing. <clears throat> I know what they're printing. I know what they're creating behind the scenes. Infinity money. But having this hit the, the wires, the overnight repo usage soars above COVID crisis highs. Repos don't go crazy, especially the reverse repos don't go crazy till the end of the quarter. We are not even close to the end of the quarter. We're halfway through the second quarter. This is crisis in the banking system. Now, what do I think is going on? I think the banks know that the treasuries they hold have been rehypothecated, meaning there's multiple owners to the same treasury, and that's all done out of the DTCC. I've talked about this a lot in the past. I haven't brought it up because it hasn't been you know, all that important. Now it is flaring. The banks are in huge crisis. They won't tell you this. But look at this. Look at this chart. <clears throat> in COVID, obviously, there was a crisis. This is when I was just all over it, right? Back here. These were all end of quarter spikes. Bang, bang, bang. This is 2017. Bang. This is to keep the system afloat. And then things calm down. I stopped reporting it. They started lying about it. And then we had the COVID crash. Obviously, there's a lot of stress in the banking system. But this is into the quarter. This is the middle of the quarter. This is a bigger crisis than all these combined. This is going to spike way above this chart where it is right now. So keep an eye on that. The, the guy on top of it is a guy named um, Zoltan Pozar. He used to work for the Fed. He knows this shit. He said, quote, Heavy use of the uh, ONRRP, reverse repo facility, tells us that foreign banks are too chock full of reserves. Either they're too chock full of reserves or, on the flip side, they don't trust that the reserves are held properly. They don't trust the treasury market because the DTCC has allowed rehypothecation. The banks all are claiming the same assets on their same books. It's a fraud, just like they did at the LBMA, but they got called out. <clears throat> London Bullion Market Association, they, they claim they had over 100 million ounces in the warehouse, meaning they weighed it. They certified it. They stacked it. 100 million ounces. And it was gone. They said, oh, that was a clerical error. That's not a clerical error. You have to input every single bar, the weight of every single bar. When you pull that into inventory, the serial number of every single bar, it is no clerical error. It is fraud. And people are starting to understand that our entire system is riddled with fraud. So keep an eye on that. I'll, I'll keep you guys up in case you're wondering what a repurchase agreement, a reverse repurchase agreement or a reverse repo is the purchase of securities with the agreement to sell them at a higher price at a specific date in the future. For the party selling the security, it is a repurchase agreement. For the party on the other end of the transaction, it's a reverse repo. The, the party at the other end is the Federal Reserve System who creates money out of thin air. So the banks are panicking. They're trying to get rid of toxic assets, and those toxic assets just happen to be U.S. Treasuries right now. <clears throat> All right, let's keep an eye on silver. Again, over $30, the, the Ruta giveaway ends. So get your Ruta coin while you can. While you can. The only way to get it, no, I don't sell them. You got to subscribe to the Private Road. One year subscription is $2.99 for a year. And it is the coolest coin ever made, in my opinion.
Uh, it comes in a very fancy burlap sack. That's the best part of it. <laughs> uh, by, uh, by the way, this the coin isn't put there in the burlap sack without a case. So it has a plastic case over it so it doesn't scratch. <clears throat> and each... <coughs> Sorry, I got a cough. Each is individually numbered as well. They're really cool. So if you want one, this, this giveaway is going to end when we hit $30 in silver. So keep that in mind as you watch the silver price. $30 in silver could happen overnight. After $30, $33, if the banks, the banks have two choices. One is to keep shorting. They're the only sellers right now, by the way, in case you're wondering. They are the only shorters. The only sellers of silver on the Comex are the criminal banking cabal. If they short into the rise, it's same old, same old. If they don't do anything, it's we're off to the races. If they try to buy back their short position, it's moonshot. Those are the, the three options. Every time they've shorted into the rise to rig the price down farther to stop out the short. Same old game. And Jeffrey Christian runs cover for them. He does belong in jail. He is an accessory to a crime. Rico charges against J.P. Morgan should have been laid on Jeffrey Christian as well. Same with Jeff Curry of Goldman Sachs. <clears throat> and speaking of crimes, look at that. Wow. Yesterday, there was so much stress in the silver market. The bankers had to throw 750 million ounces of electronic silver at the price just to keep the price below $28. 750 million ounces. Jeff Curry, Jeff Christian, please explain why in the world a an electronic market that prices silver futures and options believes it's okay to sell 750 million ounces in a single day when the price barely did anything. Why? There is no economic justification for any of that. And did I tell you, oh, by the way, 98% of those trades are the top four banks. They're just trading back and forth with each other to set the price. Anybody gets too greedy, they're going to get in there and slam it, tamp it down, as the CFTC chairman says. That's how the price of silver is controlled on the futures and options market. That's how America is being destroyed. Free markets are gone. And they have been for a very long time. Of note, interestingly, 145,000 contracts are currently open for July. I know it's a month and a half away. But that is a monster number. It equates to 725 million ounces that could potentially stand for delivery. Now, as we get closer, as Jeffrey Christian loves to point out, the bankers will roll these over. Roll over. It's the rollover. And if they have to hide inventories from humanity, they will. If they have to lie, cheat, and steal, they will. The DOJ is part and parcel to the problem. They find J.P. Morgan $920 million for rigging the silver market and yet allowed them to still hold the most silver on planet Earth. Remember, when the Hunt brothers bought 100 million ounces back in 1980, the CFTC and the DOJ, everybody came down on the Hunt brothers and said they were trying to corner the silver market. J.P. Morgan has over a billion ounces now that they control, both in the leasing of it, the shell games with swaps and swaptions and all that. They control over a billion ounces of physical silver, but they still have to play shell games. They also have warehouses controlling 75% of all silver known to man. What kind of DOJ finds, finds the biggest find? This is the biggest fine in DOJ CFTC history, in commodity history, $920 million, and still allows, still allows that entity to rig the markets. They just happen to be rigging the physical market now. They rig the inventories of the LBMA and the SLV. Jamie Dimon belongs in jail, along with the entire trading floor at JP Morgan, although I think half of them are currently on RICO charges. You know, they... Yeah, of course, Jamie Dimon, you know, he settles for the company, but the poor traders are out there dangling. And the the things that are being said at trial prove, obviously, that J.P. Morgan condoned rigging the silver market. And it wasn't once. 
Read the DOJ announcement. It was not once. It was tens of thousands of times. Each one of those was a RICO charge. They should be in jail for many lifetimes. But no, they're still allowed to be out there. I want to know how much volume of this is J.P. Morgan, Goldman Sachs, Bank of America. Yes, Bank of America all of a sudden is the big silver short. Remember, they have to pass the silver short like a hot potato. Drexel Burn. This is all from Ted Butler. His research is spot on. Drexel Burn had, had it in the Burnham had it in the 80s. Went to AIG. They imploded. every Drexel Burnham imploded. AIG imploded. Went to Bear Stearns. Bear Stearns imploded. JP Morgan. JP Morgan snuck out and gave it to Bank of America, who's about to implode. According to Ted Butler, Bank of America's least silver position, or least metals position, silver and gold. Since they started playing in this game last year, they're down $2 billion. That's not good. Chris Marcus, great discussion with uh, Lee Dusto of uh, Wall Street Silver. <clears throat> Bravo to them. I might, they're not screaming, in, they're screaming in the wind like I, I'd done for a long time. But hey, people are starting to listen. Uh, Wall Street Silver put up billboards. Of course, Wall Street Silver was not the the impetus behind the um, the rush on physical silver back in February. They were just the ones they pointed. To, oh my God! It, it must be the Wall Street Silver guys. No, Wall Street Silver guys had this much influence on the LBMA. But there is someone else behind the scenes, I call them the good guys, that did do that. That did take 100 million ounces off and made J.P. Morgan lie on their books and break all their covenants, break their agreement with the DOJ that they wouldn't do it again. Where's the DOJ's announcement that, oh my God, J.P. Morgan did it again, we're shutting them down. <laughs> Soon, maybe. All right, let's talk cryptos. Oh my God, it sprung back. Surprise, surprise, it was a rigged job. It was another rigged job by the U.S. government. Of course it was. We've How many times have we seen it? As a matter of fact, <laughs> let's go back to 2018 crash. How did the Bitcoin bubble pop? The head of the CFTC, Trump administration, popped the 2017 Bitcoin bubble. Ex-CFTC chair says. Trump administration acted to deflate the Bitcoin bubble in 2017 by allowing the introduction of futures products. The only way they can control... Christian Carlos said, we had to pop the Bitcoin bubble or it would have just kept going up. Why would Bitcoin just keep going up? Because the U.S. government is printing money to infinity behind the scenes and not telling anybody. Of course it's going to go up just like every other asset should go up because the the thing it is being weighed against is the U.S. dollar that is being printed in unfathomable amounts behind the scenes. Even in front of the scenes. Look at the reverse repo chart. My God. Look at that. Before the end of the quarter, this is going to shoot through the roof. This is the end game from the U.S. dollar. This is what Ruta wrote in the sand originally, that they would print money to infinity. So they slam cryptos down again. It was getting too exciting. They slam it down officially do it. SEC came out three weeks ago and said, oh, look out, cryptos are crazy. Cryptos are, are very volatile. They had to say that, just like Chris Giancarlo came out and said right before the 2017 slam, hey, careful, all these markets are not uh, regulated. It's a fraud. And then we had this announcement just a couple weeks ago, 10 days ago, Goldman Sachs announces a new crypto trading team in an internal memo. Oh, surprise, surprise. Goldman comes on and slams the price of cryptocurrencies. Everybody in cryptos knows it's a fraud. We've been through it so many times. Yes, cryptos are bouncing back now. It'll take a week or two. For you, if you're new to cryptos, oh my God, what a great time to buy. I'm just saying... I'm not saying I bought Theta at $4.50, $4.50, but somebody I know did. 
I'm not saying I didn't help them do that. <laughs> but yeah, Theta was Theta went under four dollars, back up to eight. It's going to into the thousands. I'm not worried about Theta. Oh my God, you want to hear something amazing with Theta? So you you guys know. I have studied this remote viewing session they had back in September of last year. Hitomi's work was unbelievable. Uh, Dick Allgaier had some unbelievable work. Ed Reardon. This is the crypto viewing, guys. Ed Reardon. I'm going to show you a quick picture. I'll explain it. It is a, a sports celebrity slash CEO standing up, being filmed on a commercial saying, Get on board. The other quote is, don't wait. Get on board, don't wait. I have speculated it is Tom Brady with his autograph company, which is uh, an NFT company. If they have not, to this date, they have not chosen what blockchain they're going to use. The reality is Ethereum is too way too expensive and way too slow. It will not be Ethereum. So what is fast? What has experience in NFTs? What blockchain is going to kick ass and is cheap? And is basically free to do a transaction? 0 0.0000001 T-Fuel to do a transaction? Theta. Look what this sports star CEO in this remote viewing did. And then look at this. Tom Brady yesterday. Over here. We just buy the dip. Tom Brady's telling people to buy the dip when Theta was down at the $5 range. Tom Brady telling people to buy the dip of all cryptos. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. It's awesome. All right, uh, the Theta fuel Theta ratio is about 27. Remember when we started talking about it, it was like 35 and it's tightening, tightening slowly but surely. Um, Jenny Moonstone has it going eight to one. That means you'll make what uh, <laughs> three times as much with Theta Fuel than Theta. I don't know. When Theta Mainnet comes on, I mean Mainnet 3.0 comes on, they're gonna have T Fuel staking. Everybody will be trying to get their hands on T Fuel to stake it. <clears throat> But it's hard to tell because all these big companies are going to want Theta for the control over the blockchain. And if you own Theta, you can vote yourself some more T-Fuel. Would you do that? Probably if T-Fuel got too expensive and Theta, Theta wasn't doing as well. Absolutely. So do I own Theta or Theta Fuel? I own both. I like both. If you're playing the trade, the ratio, um, you probably want to own Theta Fuel right now. Um, but going back and forth, remember that's a that is a taxable transaction. You sell one crypto and buy a different crypto. If you buy the same crypto, that's just a wash trade. You can't declare a gain or a loss in the tax rules. Although I haven't seen any IRS official ruling on any tax for cryptos other than saying yes we're, we're we are taxing them according to capital gains the criminals at the irs are very scary don't mess with them pay your taxes don't mess with them pay your taxes until they are gone which i think they will be gone very soon as the monetary system implodes i'm just saying it's not a like kind exchange. And if you if you sell your one crypto now to take a loss and then rebuy it back, it's called a wash trade. It's not allowed. They are going to they're not going to give you that loss. I'm just telling you. All right. What else are we talking about? So, when you look at who was in the uh, the Trump administration when they popped the Bitcoin bubble, it was Chris Giancarlo. It was Gary Cohen, it was Steve Mnuchin, and it was Donald Trump. Now we have a, a kind of a fake um, Treasury Department with Janet Yellen in there, who's about as dumb as a stump. So you look to the number two guy. Who's number two guy? Wally 
Addy Minow. Wally Addy Minow was sworn in Deputy Treasury Secretary on March 26, 2021. Spent the majority of his career in public service, which is bullshit. I will tell you where he was right down here. Uh, before joining the Obama Foundation, Adaminto served as senior advisor for at strategic at the St Center for Strategic and International Studies and at drumroll please BlackRock, of course BlackRock. Remember they had to move everything out of the banking system into the hedge fund system, which is BlackRock. So the revolving door now goes from BlackRock to the U.S. Treasury. BlackRock, yes, the same BlackRock that owns SLV, the largest silver fraud in the history of mankind. And is BlackRock in crypto trading? Of course they are. And Or if they're not, they just went to the Goldman Sachs desk and said, hey, we're going to crash cryptos on uh, May, what's the date? On May 20, or May 19th, yesterday. We're going to crash cryptos, so get ready. Here's what we're going to do. Everybody coordinate. Everybody ready? Everybody ready? JP Morgan, you ready? Goldman Sachs, you ready? U.S. Treasury, you ready? Uh, Federal Reserve, New York, you ready? Okay, let's crash cryptos. And they did it. <laughs> and it's easy to crash cryptos. All you have to do is put in a thousand sell orders, and then all the exchanges shut down because they have maintenance issues, which means... They want to buy the cryptos that they don't own for their own account so you don't get them. Welcome to America. Welcome to our criminal financial system. Anyway, cryptos are recovering nicely, of course. Uh, they'll crash a little bit more probably. Who knows? Uh, Theta's up to 8 bucks. Was down below 4. Was down below 4. Was down below 4. That's the insanity of that. Uh, a couple things coming up for Theta. Mainnet 3.0 is only a month and a half away. Less than that. So get your Theta. Get your Theta fuel. Stake all you can. Get ready for the ride of your life. Uh, number two, Coinbase is about to add Theta. They said they are increasing the speed of which they add these cryptocurrencies. Uh, that was said probably as a last pump. They're all in it together, remember? And then number three... This is the, the trifecta will be Tom Brady holding up on TV saying, buy Theta. Don't wait. Buy Theta. Buy Theta. Buy Theta Fuel. Theta Fuel will be the currency that Tom Brady is going to be dealing in. So, <laughs> how big is it going to be when Tom Brady says, you know, Elon Musk is saying buy Dogecoin, which is like the dumbest thing in the world. And Dogecoin goes crazy. Tom Brady, a much more respectable human, what, what's going to happen when he says, okay, autograph is going, we're going to use the Theta blockchain by Theta Fuel. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Crazy. Um, I have posted on the private road uh, the first three videos. The first ones are songs from the Phoenix show. Then our man, Chris Marcus, I love this picture. Chris Marcus, um, his discussion at the uh, Phoenix show, and then Jenny Moonstone is there in her discussion. I will be talking to Jenny today about silver, about the the crash. I already checked in with her. She says, for Theta, this is an aberration. It will be so short-lived. You'll blink, and it's going to be gone, and it's going to run to the moon. So Jenny Moonstone's a little moon girl, just like I'm a moon boy <laughs> for Theta. So check out those discussions. Uh, again, that's on the private road at roadrua.com. Again, if you want to subscribe, I am still getting me away as of 7 o'clock this morning. Um, one silver Ruta coin with every subscription or renewal. Each is individually numbered, and it's Ruta jumping up and down on the silver brick road in the Grand Canyon with the little cave of gold over there on the left. Again, if you're looking to swap your gold for silver, there's not many of you left. Most people have already done it. But uh, you can contact my broker, Andy Sheckman, at Miles Franklin. Send him an email, Andy, A-N-D-Y, at milesfranklin.com, M-I-L-E-S-F-R-A-N-K-L-I-N.com. And make that swap today because at a 68 to 1 ratio, you got to be drunk if you're holding gold right now. You can always get, hey, you can get 68 times the amount of gold when the 
freely traded market goes one to one. And that won't be that far away. As soon as the COMEX shuts down, that's what we're looking at, in my opinion. This is Big Swear. I'll talk to you guys later. Well, you start with Bitcoin and you know you know nothing. You make your first wallet and then you think you got something. You secure your private keys and you don't. All you want to be gone. Now you're a coiner and it's time to learn all. From bank and tech and social net and cryptos are hard. But you gotta get your feet wet. You gotta get your mindset for change. And it's the way of the crypto warriors. Our world day by day. The way of the crypto warriors they can't rely on the bank, there's no way. The way of the crypto warriors, after all the crazy politics fade away, you got something to say. Live a crypto warrior way. There's Kenny Bozak, he'll show up in your town. His pocket always dressed like a clown But he pulls out his phone Always pays for what he owes in crypto Big old junk him erases all Charlie's doom He's told she that he's feeling right with John in chat rooms And he takes care of that point We know it's the right one for change It's the way of the crypto warriors Changing our world day by day the warriors can't rely on the bank, there's no way. The way of the thrift, the warriors, after all the crazy politics fade away, you get something to say. Live the crypto warrior way. Well, let me tell you about my friend, his name is Bitcoin Ben. A truck driver man, everybody loves him. And he's spreading the word, he shares what he heard, secret plan. And there's Snippy by Joe, and it's the J Snip Show. There's I can test the treasure, test the goes on the note. He teaches us tech, cause he's seen a few wrecks of the slow. It's the way of the crypto warriors, changing our world day by day. The way of the crypto warriors, we can't rely on. Bank is no way. The way of the crypto warriors. After all the crazy politics fade away, you got something to say. Live a crypto warrior way. Cause everybody wants to be a hero. And everybody has dreams of a better day. If everybody knew We could change everything that we do Then everybody live a crypto war your way And everybody live a crypto war your way And you, you can live a crypto war your way Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> 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 that was great!